The Glen Mills School, a reform school for boys sitting on an 800 acre campus west of Philadelphia had a nickname, the Harvard of Reform Schools. It was anything but. After reporting that a counselor there had body slammed and choked a 17 year old with chronic asthma, Philadelphia Inquirer reporter Lisa Gardner unearthed a disturbing number of abuse claims going back decades. For tenacious reporting that closed the nation's oldest reform school, Lisa Gartner has won the Justice Reporting Award. Hello, uh, this is Lisa Gartner. Um, I just wanted to say how excited and grateful I am to be this year's honoree for Justice Reporting. Um, obviously, none of us do this work for the awards, but it's um, a really great honor and um, such a kind thing. Thank you. Um, it's my name on the poke, but uh, this is really a credit to all the boys and men and other sources who came forward, um, many of them who were being actively threatened by the Glen Mills schools. I know I was being harassed and targeted by these people um, who'd been running this place for nearly 200 years and didn't want to see their way of life exposed um, for these boys. and anyone it's not um an easy thing to talk about the worst thing that ever happened to you and i'll just be forever in awe of their um courage in speaking up in the hopes that other boys wouldn't have to go through the violent and brutal abuse that they endured at the glen mill schools um as reporters we can't promise anything to these brave people um we can just hope that their testimony will spark change um I hoped so much that it would, uh, but I think I was the most shocked when um, within hours of the initial investigation running, uh, judges from Philadelphia to California to Texas to Michigan started pulling their boys out of Glen Mills. And uh, within six weeks, multiple state investigations, uh, Pennsylvania ordered the emergency removal of all boys from Glen Mills and revoked its licenses, shutting it down. Um, ending the run of the nation's oldest reform school. So uh, the state's currently overhauling its entire juvenile justice system and uh, oversight thereof. And uh, it's, it's been an exhaustive but, but true privilege to, to report on that as it unfolds. Um, I wanna thank my editor, Jim Naff, uh, and all my friends and colleagues on the Philadelphia Inquirer uh, investigations team. We really are a team and I leaned on them and their experience as I reported these stories. Um, this was the hardest thing I've ever done, uh, this kind of emotional work. And I especially wanna thank my husband, Nat, who has been um, a rock, more of a boulder <laughs> for me. Um, yeah, the world is changing. Uh, it's hard to think of anything but the coronavirus. Um, I know a lot of the work we did in 2019 must feel like it's from a different planet, um, but as programs like Glen Mills are quarantining, closing themselves off to visitors and inspectors, I feel so lucky that I found this story before the virus, um, because otherwise all those boys would still be trapped there right now with even less oversight um, and they would be in more danger than ever. That terrifies me and um, I'm just, Really grateful that it unfolded when and how it did. So um, <laughs> thank you, Poke Awards. Uh, please stay safe out there. We will get through this. Um, all the best and uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs>